द सेकेंड नंबर दैट वी हैव इज द मैथ नंबर बट हमारे पास जो प्रियोडिक टेबल है उसमें मैथ नंबर नहीं होता प्रियोडिक टेबल डज नॉट शो द मैथ नंबर वॉट द प्रियोडिक टेबल शोज इज रेलेटिव मैथ विच इज रेलेटिव एटोमिक मैथ एंड दैट इज बेसिकली द एवरेज मैथ ऑफ ऑल आइसोटोप ऑफ एन आइटम so that's the important part it is the average so here's a question can an atom have 3 and a half neutrons no right but can it have 3 and a half average neutrons yes kyunki average points mein ho sakti hai but actual number of neutrons points mein nahi ho sakta so relative atomic mass can be in decimal but actual mass cannot and now average mass of all isotopes compared with 1/12th of carbon 12 this is important in your def exam you will get one mark for this part and one mark for this part that the mass is compared with 1/12th of carbon 12 kyun because hamara jo chemistry mein unit hai na wo ye hota hai this is our unit and what is a unit unit is always one right so how is this one bahut simple hai you take 1/12 aur usko multiply by 12 karo to aapke paas kya milta hai one right this is our unit so our unit is 1/12 of carbon 12 that we have this on a scale and we compare everything with that so that is why you get this now how do we find this average really simple you need to look at the isotopes so i'm going to go with a very simple example of chlorine chlorine has two isotopes chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 notice how i named them i call this one chlorine 35 because it is chlorine with 35 mass and i call this one 37 because this is chlorine with 37 mass okay who can tell me why they are both chlorine why are they both chlorine so the reason that they are both chlorine is because they have 17 protons so if the examiner asks you why are they both the same element you don't say ke oh they are isotopes sure they are isotopes but that doesn't answer the question the question was why are they chlorine they are chlorine because of same protons because remember element is because of protons so they are both the same element because they have the same protons so they have the same 17 protons which is why they are both chlorine but they are isotopes so now if the examiner says okay why are they isotopes then you can say that oh they are same element they have same protons but different mass as you can see this has mass 35 this has mass 37 now duniya mein har isotope ki koi percentage hoti hai theek hai ki ye isotope ji duniya mein jitni chlorine hai this isotope is 75% of that तो so, दुनिया में जितने भी क्लोरीन आपको मिलेगी ऑन एवरेज 75 परसेंट इज दिस वन एंड सिमिलरली 25 परसेंट इज दिस वन दिस परसेंटेज इज कॉल्ड रिलेटिव अबंडेंस इट सिंपली टेल्स अस कि दुनिया में ये कितना है दैट्स इट सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ लाइक द परसेंटेज यू हैव सीन एन एग्जांपल लाइक दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव थ्री पेपर इन यूर एग्जाम यू हैव पेपर टू यू हैव पेपर फोर यू हैव पेपर सिक्स इफ यू आर इन आई जी सी एस ई एंड इफ इन ओ लेवल्स यू हैव पेपर वन टू एंड फोर एंड समटाइम्स आई जी सी एस ई ऑल्सो हैज वन टू थ्री ओके नाउ लेट सपोज एंड अगेन दीज नंबर चेंज एवरी ईयर आपके सिलेबस में कुछ और हैं ओ लेवल्स के सिलेबस में कुछ और हैं बट लेट्स अज्यूम दैट दिस पेपर इज थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल दिस पेपर इज फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल एंड दिस पेपर इज थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल i'm just assuming okay so let's suppose there is a student who gets different scores ek student hai jiske is paper mein marks aaye 80% is paper mein marks aaye 90% aur is paper mein marks aaye bechare se acha paper nahi hua uske marks aaye 30% i want to know ki us bacche ka total grade kya banta hai so kaise karenge bahut simple hai we'll know ki acha bhai 80% in this paper jiski weightage 30% hai so we'll multiply them we'll be like acha 80% परसेंट टाइम्स थर्टी परसेंट प्लस नाइन्टी परसेंट टाइम्स फोर्टी परसेंट प्लस 
थर्टी परसेंट टाइम्स थर्टी परसेंट क्यों जो उसके मार्क्स हैं वो उसकी वेटेड से मल्टीप्लाई हो रहे हैं एंड वी विल नो द टोटल ग्रेड सो इफ यू हैव अ कैलकुलेटर देन यू कैन चेक दैट वट दीज मार्क्स आर गोइंग टू बी सो दिस पर्सन इज गोइंग टू गेट ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट इन द फर्स्ट पेपर इज गोइंग टू गेट थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट इन द सेकेंड पेपर एंड इज गोइंग टू गेट नाइन परसेंट इन द थर्ड पेपर कैसे ट्वेंटी फोर आउट ऑफ थर्टी परसेंट थर्टी सिक्स आउट ऑफ फोर्टी परसेंट एंड नाइन परसेंट आउट ऑफ थर्टी परसेंट सो टोटल इस बच्चे के ग्रेड आप यहां से देख लोगे अच्छा है भाई आपके टोटल ग्रेड आते हैं आई थिंक इट विल बी विल जस्ट एड इट ऑल अप सो फोर्टी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इज सिक्सटी नाइन परसेंट सो दिस स्टूडेंट हैज अक्सटी नाइन परसेंट ओवरऑल ग्रेड इवन दो उस बच्चे बेचारे के दोनों पेपर बहुत अच्छे हुए थे एक पेपर खराब हो गया जिसकी वेटेज भी सबसे कम थी एंड येट दे लॉस्ट अ फुल ग्रेड सो इससे हमें दो बातें पता लगी एक तो यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर द होल सिलेबस यू कैन जस्ट लीव वन पेपर आउट बट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली दिस टेल्स अस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट अ वेटेड एवरेज योर ग्रेड्स आर गोइंग टू बी वेटेड एवरेज वो आपके हर पेपर की मार्क्स देखेंगे और उसको आपके परसेंटेज ऑफ पेपर के साथ मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे and then they also have a curve thing but we won't go into that right now and you will figure this out so this was your weightage here our weightage is this jo uska mass hai that is the weightage and this was the students marks jiske 80% 90% the this is their marks now this is going to be abundance and for isotopes all we do is we multiply the same so 75% times 35 Plus twenty five percent times thirty seven, and when you do that, you will see that you get thirty five point five. That is the average mass of this atom. Or usko hum bolte hain AR, relative atomic mass. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to calculate it for this another uh, element. Okay, so again I'm just making this up. these values are just all made up so don't really trust those values just for the practice so there is this element germanium okay germanium ge germanium has 32 as its proton number but it has many different isotopes let's suppose there is one isotope 70 there is one isotope 72 there is one isotope 73 and there is one isotope 75 the percentage is or relative abundance of these that this is 4% this is 10% this is 74% and this we do not know so first of all can anybody tell me what is the average of this one what is the percentage of this isotope can anybody do that kaise pata chalega uski percentage kya hai sir 100 mein se minus kar denge Excellent, no, very good. Tha. So the total should be hundred percent. So four, ten, and seventy-four. We will minus hundred from minus, and we will get, I think, twelve percent. So that is the percentage of this one. Now I want you to calculate the AR. So go on, do it. You will need a calculator for this. Sir, one thing to ask you. Yes, go on. Uh, sir, we have given the percentage. हमने मास नंबर के साथ मल्टीप्लाई करने है मास नंबर की परसेंटेज निकाली मतलब 73 परसेंट लिखेंगे मतलब 74 into 73 परसेंट करेंगे 74 into, 74 परसेंट into 73 गुड क्वेश्चन एंड इंटरेस्टिंगली इट डजेंट मैटर परसेंटेजेस आर इंटरचेंजेबल सो अगर आप 4 परसेंट टाइम 70 करो या 70 परसेंट टाइम 4 करो एक ही बात ठीक हो गया सर हेयर्स हाउ यू शुड बी डूइंग इट and here's how the others who have sent it have done it correctly for 370 so it will be 4% which you can write as 4 over 100 if you want or you can just write 4% times 70 plus 10% times 72 plus 74% times 73 plus 12% times 75 and that's easy that's how you find the relative atomic mass The other kind of question that the examiner can give you is that sometimes the examiner आपको बता देता है कि उसका relative atomic mass क्या है और आपसे फिर पूछता है कि अच्छा बताइए जी इसका mass क्या है ठीक है 
So in this example, you had to find the relative autonomous. mass. What if the relative autonomous mass was given to you? So here's the one. Let's say there is an isotope, copper, eh? copper, two isotopes. Eh? One is copper 63, one is copper 65. The copper 63 wala, this is present 24.7% in the world. The other one, we do not know what the percentage is. Again, I'm making these numbers up. Naturally, ye numbers nahi hote. Usually, copper 63 is present around 74, 75%. Achha. Let's suppose relative atomic mass of this number is 64. Point some percent. In fact, we don't know what it is. Let's suppose this. We don't know what it is. But we know that the percentage is 64.2%. Can you calculate what copper will mass of the copper? Can you do that? Okay, so if you've done this, then first step is to figure out that 100 minus 24.7 then we will get the percentage of the second one which comes out to be 75.3%. The next step is to assume that we don't know this percentage. Nahi pata. X. Okay? We don't know value. Nahi pata. So like, okay, the relative norm mass 64.2 is equal to 24.7% times 63 plus 75.3% times X. And then we just solve it. And that's what you do. So let's do it. So if you do it correctly, then this will become 24.7 times 63. So this number divided by 100. So this becomes 64.2 is equal to 15.561 plus 0.753x. It's a simple equation. So next step is to obviously subtract it. So how many subtract? Karenge? So 64. 2 minus 15.561 that is 48.639 which is equal to 0 0.753 x so x will be simply 48.639 divided by 0 0.753 so when you do that let's do it so 48.639 divided by 0.753 so that gives me 64.5 equal to x. So according to this calculation, this isotope ka mass ye hona chahi. The next part of the question is, how does this answer confirm that the values given to us are wrong? Can anybody confirm why this answer confirms that these values given to us were wrong. Why 64.5 kisi isotope ka mass nahi ho sakta? The question is, how does this answer confirm that the values of percentage, these values, were faulty? How does this answer sir, confirm that? Sir, you said that the mass number or atomic number must be the, uh, the integer. Very good. Taha. The mass number, the atomic mass or nuclear number and proton number has to be a whole number. It has to be an integer because it is simply how many protons and how many neutrons you have. You cannot have 64 and half neutrons. You can't have half a neutron. It's impossible. So this number tells us calculation karke numbers batayen, galat numbers Tukhe, koi neutron is tarang, koi atom koi mass itna ho hi nahi sakta ya 64 hoga ya 65 hoga ya 66 hoga it is impossible to have 64.5 so ya to iska koi teesra isotope hai jiska hame nahi pata ya ye numbers galat there is no way these numbers are correct everybody clear with this